This is a request that I got from Erica on how to make short ribs. So I'm going to show you how to make it in my Geek Chef electric pressure cooker for Throw It Together Thursdays. So I'm going to peel this gristle off, it's usually on the bone side, and this is this thin kind of like layer that we want to pull from the bone. Okay. So I'm going to preheat my pressure cooker on the saute function at 375 degrees. If your pressure cooker has a temperature control for the saute function. We're going to season all the sides with kosher salt and black pepper. I'm using just a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm going to place my short ribs in the bottom of the pressure cooker pot here. So once you place them in there, don't lift it. Let it cook for about three minutes then you're going to rotate. So, all the sides are pretty much seared. I've just been taking them and just rotating them like that. So i got one more side to cook. Now I'm going to remove them. I'm going to pour in some stock. Just some olives. I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar. I just love balsamic vinegar, especially with ribs, any type of ribs. Gonna whisk and deglaze the bottom of our pressure cooker pot. Now I'm going to return the meat and then I'm going to pour over all our cut up veggies that's the carrots, mushrooms, and onions. Tomato paste. How did I forget to add it? Okay, so I'm just moving all that around to get that tomato paste dissolved in the broth. Just add the tomato paste beforehand. So you guys got a little blooper there, but that's okay. So now I'm going to put the lid on. And then I'm going to hit the cancel button. And then I'm going to hit the meat stew button. Hit the time temperature button twice. And I'm going to cook this for 40 minutes under pressure. And I'm going to close the pressure valve. So after 40 minutes, we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes before we release the pressure. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes and then I let it sit for 15 minutes and the pressure is actually released naturally. So let's have a look. It smells wonderful. Oh wow, it actually fell off the bone. I'm trying to actually fell off the bone. So I know it's done, for sure. So I'm just going to remove all this from the pot. And then I'm going to turn the saute function on. Actually, we're going to set it at 390. I just want this to come to a boil. So I have here the corn, starch, and water. And I'm going to mix the two together. I'm going to add it to the pressure cooker. Let's start everything thicken up. Now I'm going to hit the cancel button, turn off the heat here. And I'm going to use my ladle. I should have did it first, but it's okay. We're going to spill all this oil here. We're going to skim it off. I don't want to have... Try to skim off as much as you can. Okay, I returned everything back to the, the pressure cooker here, even the bones. And I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes with the lid on. So here is everything. I served it with some rice and some stream beans and uh, potato buns that I made. You guys can find the recipe in the previous video in the extended tutorial on my baking channel with Sugar Sweet. <clears throat> it just 
just shreds away. It's very tender. Just want to slice it so you guys can see. So I barely have to slice it. It just comes right off. So here we go. Mm. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely tender, full of flavor, and it didn't take much time to make. Please add this short rib recipe to your playlist. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any, or if you have a request, please leave that as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you guys' support. I appreciate everybody who has been ordering things from my Amazon wish list to support my channel. I really do appreciate. Please remember to live and be well. Let's do what we can to come together and love one another.